The Paris Agreement, signed in 2016 by 195 countries, aspires to keep the rise in global temperature to well below 2 degrees Celsius and to limit the increase to 1.5 degrees Celsius, all relative to pre-industrial temperatures. To avoid exceeding these warming targets, how much carbon may we emit? From a large set of climate model projections, we find that a 2 degrees Celsius rise corresponds to an additional carbon emission of around 400 petagrams from 2017. Without further action, this 2 degrees Celsius warming is likely to occur in a couple of decades, between 2038 and 2050. We face a choice where we are all gambling with our future. The carbon choices that we all make now will affect the climate for ourselves and future generations. The first play of the slot machine is the most optimistic. A carbon emission of 260 petagrams is expected to give an atmospheric CO2 of 440 parts per million and therefore a rise in global temperature of 1.9 degrees Celsius. The second play is very worrying. A carbon emission of 820 petagrams is expected to give an atmospheric CO2 of 600 parts per million and therefore a rise in global temperature of 3 degrees centigrade. The third play is even more worrying and represents the likely outcome if we ignore the problem. A carbon emission of 1550 petagrams is likely to give an atmospheric CO2 of 835 parts per million and a rise in global temperature of 4.1 degrees Celsius. Action is needed to avoid these extreme climate states. The last two scenarios may have consequences we cannot even guess at, but a positive message from the UK is that carbon emissions have dropped over the last couple of decades, but the gross domestic product has increased. Taking action to further reduce carbon emissions will be very challenging, but the earlier we start, the more likely we are to avoid dangerous climate change.